Hello and welcome everyone to Azoic Explains. Today I'm going to be showing you how to serve images in next-gen formats using WordPress. So first we're going to dive right into uh, my website here, Injury Health Blog. We beat it up quite a bit on this show and today uh, I've ran it through Google's PageSpeed Insights. Uh, I go down to see some of the opportunities that Google is telling me about. It says serve images in next-gen formats. So this is a really common one that pops up a lot. Next-gen formats are things like JPEG 2000, JPEG XR, and WebP. So these are not standard image formats. And what this means is that the browsers that the users are coming to my website on actually have compression embedded um, readers that will allow me to serve to them images that are much smaller than average things like JPEGs or PNGs. And so it's not supported by every browser and so I have to kind of work through this a little bit so that I make sure I don't mess up my website and can also serve all my visitors a faster image if they're in a preferred browser. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, uh, I'm here in Injury Health Blog, for the sake of expediency I'm going to take you to a website that I manage that already has some of these plugins installed. So you can see here I've got my plugins. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to download this plugin called WebP Express. Okay, so it's WP-WebP is the name, and you can actually get it here at wordpress.org slash plugins slash WebP slash Express. And once I download this, uh, all I have to do then is upload it to my WordPress website, and then I will have this little section right here that says WP-WebP and all I have to do is activate it and what it's going to do is actually add this little bit of code to my site that allows me to both serve the WebP images properly in a page speed optimized format but then also have a function installed that will allow me to read whether or not someone is using a browser that is uh, equipped to display WebP and if not it will serve my default uploaded images like a JPEG or a PNG whatever you currently uh, serve visitors from your website. So now I have to convert all my images to WebP format and what I really like to do this with is a really great tool called Short Pixel. So Short P Pixel uh, is free to sign up um, but for the most part if you want to run compression on your images and run, that, uh, run this across your website um, you will have to pay a little bit of money but it's very very inexpensive so usually for less than thirty dollars you can do your whole website and continue to do any images that you upload in the future so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into plugins I'm going to go to add new and then I'm going to search here for short pixel so short pixel image optimizer is the one I'm looking for it's right there uh, I've already installed it once I do I just have to click to make it active and once I've installed the plugin, now I'm going to go down and I found it here. It's activated and now it's going to be located in my settings menu. And so I just have to go over here now and click on short pixel. Once I'm inside, this is the menu. So you're given a lot of options. Uh, I won't go through all of these today. Um, if you're already using some kind of image compression plugin, chances are it's not doing a very good job. Short Pixel actually is one of the very few that if you use the paid version it works really well. So there's some other preferences here but today we're just going to go into advanced and since we're focused purely on WebP what I want to do is make sure that I've got the box checked here that says also create WebP versions of my images for free and then deliver the WebP versions of the images on the front end and then check that box. Okay, so I'm going to give have a couple options here. One of them is without altering the page code via HTA access, I can serve WebP images that way. Now your host is going to determine part of this and you're seeing here it's telling me that I can't serve the WebP versions of my JPEG files this way. And so I need to go back to one of these first two options. So using the picture tag syntax is usually the best way for most WordPress websites. And if you select only via WordPress hooks, like the content, the excerpt, it's less likely that it'll conflict with your theme or any other plugins. So I recommend this option if you can't use it by altering the page code via your HTA access file. So once you select this box and 
checked off using the pictures tag for the syntax. All you have to do now is go down to the bottom and then click save and go to bulk process. Once you do this, you'll be taken to a menu where short pixel is actually going to um, optimize all of these images that are in your current library. You can see mine's already done here. Once I've done that, I go back to page speed insights and I can see my speed is improved. And yay, they no longer are telling me to serve images in next gen formats. So that is it. That's how you serve next gen images on your WordPress website. There are multiple ways to do it and there are some ways that involve more coding and some ways that involve your host or your server. But this is a really simple way that I've done on multiple sites that works really well. So hopefully this has helped you serve images in next gen formats. This has been Zoic Explains. I'm Tyler Bishop.